So the Pontefract Marathon is next and one of the longest races of the season. Not quite the longest, I don't think. And it's a 0 to 90 handicap. The top one is Grey Wizard, Jim Murray, Rockin Ante for Obi Wan, Javelin for Carla Aganti, Dieppe for James Follis, Rum C for Doug Warren, and so is two is Capdor Silver and Frosty Voluga is Darren Howe. So just seven in this then because it's difficult to get into it, isn't it? Two more five furlongs with the handicapping rules. So just the seven runners win this and you knock yourself out of pretty much everything handicap wise they're away and racing and javelin on the inside of Dieppe look like they might be the ones we're going to dispute the lead with a Doug Warren pair cap door silver and rum C probably going to come through on the inside now so this could be a tactical race they're going at a bit of a crawl you'd expect them to be going reasonably slowly but um, Dieppe it is in the lead cap door silver and rum C together gap of about two or three to Javelin in Grey Wizard, Rockinanti, and finally Frosty Voluga. Now that's the seven then. Don't worry, the only trainer that's got two in. I mean, we could get the situation where just one trainer doesn't get any prize money. Doug's extremely unlucky. He'll come sixth and seventh, and he'll be the only one. So that doesn't happen. And it's Rumsey on the in the lead, just in the middle, I think, from Capital Silver on a, on a rail. And Dieppe, those three are pretty inseparable at the moment. Gap on a couple of lengths back to Javelin and Grey Wizard. Just behind that one, Rockin' Ant and Frosty Voluga. Rockin' Ant, Rockin' Ant, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And Dieppe is in the lead, just by about a head. The two of these trainers are experts in these long distance races. James Follis and Doug Warren. Also, um, Darren Howells at the back, like to have runners in these big long distance races. I'd be a bit of a surprise to see a Jim Murray one in there. You'd expect him to be going more over the two and a quarter, two and a half, maybe two miles, go to the cup races, but maybe he's just snuck this one in at top weight. Chance to pick up a bonus win. And it's Dieppe in the lead. I'm seeing Cap Double Silver. Javelin after that. Then Rocky Ant. Rocky Ant, Grey Wizard is next. Frosty Voluga, the back marker. So no grazing in this race, which is a bit of a surprise. And five virtual black horses. So a bit of a, a bit of a surprise to what we normally get. We normally get at least a couple of grazes, don't we? But at least seven races, expect to be at least one. But we often see five really dark horses. And just in the other one of them's called Grey Wizard. One of them's called Frosty Voluga. You'd think they'd probably both be grey, and you'd think Capdor Silver might be as well. So. Life's never easy, and it's Dieppe in the lead, but we've only got seven runners in this, so we shouldn't, better, shouldn't make too many mistakes, and Dieppe in the blue jacket, and Rum C on his inside, the one closest to the rail is Capdor Silver, and a rocking anti, javelin together, just tucked in behind them, the Grey Wizard, and then Frosty Voluga trails the tails, but can see all from that vantage position, and they're still more than a mile to go. Dieppe in the lead then on the outside, just giving away a little bit of ground on the turns, but nothing too significant over such a big trip. Rum C on his inside, Rocky Hunty's getting a little bit closer there. Uh, Capdor Silver gets a bit of a breather. Javelin is next, Grey Wizard is now going to try and go up the inside. I think Jim Moore will be a bit disappointed if he gets his horse boxed in in a seven runner race over two miles and five furlongs, and the jockey's sort of sensibly thinking about the outside, I think. And it looks like he's got. Probably the best horse in the race. He doesn't want to get himself into too much trouble, but it's Rumsy on the inside of Dieppe. And Cap Door Silver and Rocky Ante are keeping the door shut on Grey Wizard. Now switch to the outside. Frosty Voluga has gone past Javelin, who appears to be toiling, but Dieppe has now kicked on again with five to go. Dieppe's a battle length clear of Rumsy in second. Rocky Ante now Grey Wizard starts to creep a bit closer on the outside. Cap Door Silver is finding it a bit tough. Frosty Voluga looks that one post. He probably wants four and a half miles. And Javelin is the back marker, but Dieppe's in the lead with. Rum C and Rockin' Ante, double handful on Grey Wizard in fourth. That's the one that your money would be on at the moment. Frosty Voluga and Capdor Silver after that one. Javelin has gone right out of shot, but it's Dieppe in the lead then into the final three. Dieppe's clear by three. 
2, Rockin' Anti, Grey Wizard now starting to get going, then Rumsey and Capdoor Silver, Frosty Valuga's next, Javelin somewhere, but it's Dieppe in the lead. Dieppe now being challenged by Rockin' Anti as they pass the two furlong pole. Rockin' Anti comes up to challenge Dieppe, suddenly Grey Wizard doesn't look to be going as well as he was. Then Rumsey and Capdoor Silver, Frosty Valuga and Javelin, but it's Rockin' Anti who's gone for home and as they hit the furlong pole, and Rockin' Anti has got a five length lead over Grey Wizard, and Grey Wizard is going to have to turn the table, he's going to have to do something pretty spectacular here. Grey Wizard has not got a spell to do this, and Rockin' Anti has stolen this one, I think, up towards the line. Rockin' Anti takes it, bit of an upset. Grey Wizard only second, then Rum C third, Frosty Valuga, Dieppe, Capdoor Silver, and finally Javelin, you know, lump loads of money on Grey Silver if he'd been betting on the exchanges or whatever they call it there, but Rockin' Anti takes it for Obi Wan, Grey Wizard for Jim Murray second, Frosty Valuga stayed on for Darren House to be third, Rum C for Doug Warren fourth, and Dieppe. James Follis was fifth.